All right, today we're going to talk about the standing throw position, or some people call it the power position. Um, the same thing, uh, basically it's the position when we get to the front of the circle, our both feet are ground, grounded and we're moving through the finish. So this is, we're just going to talk about setting up, doing it as its own separate throw, not as it relates to the full throw. Now I say that, but when you take a standing throw, you need to think of it in the context of the full throw, even though you're not doing the full throw, obviously. But you need to think about what position you actually want to get in while you're doing the full throw. So that's what we're going to break down today. Um, when you line up your feet, first off, you want your left toe to be in line with your right heel. So if you kind of line them up here, push the left foot into the toe board, the right foot out, the right foot should be probably just a little bit to the right side of this, the, the circle and a little bit forward from the center of the circle uh, for the spin for the shot put. Um, now, have your right foot angled a little bit towards the back of the circle and your left foot angled a little bit towards the right sector line. Um, what's that gonna do, what that will do is a lot, a lot of people will have, start with their left foot flat up against the toe board and when you go through the finish, it kind of twists up your whole body and prevents your hips getting the whole way open facing the sector. So bring that heel a little bit away from the toe board. You can put the toe right up against the toe board, that's fine. Um, but then have the right facing a little bit towards the back of the circle. And then with your upper body, you want to think leaning over the right toe a little bit with the shot in your neck. Have a little bit of a bend in your right knee have your heel off the ground, and just a little bit of a hunch, a little bit of a bend over that right toe. The left leg is going to be almost completely straight. It can have a little athletic bend in it, um, but your right's going to have a much bigger bend in it when you start the throw. Now, as you go into the motion of the throw, two things happen first. The left arm throws open as the right knee starts to work forward. So the right knee and the right hip start to work forward at the same time as the left arm is long, throwing out and around. So the right knee goes forward, the left arm throws out, and then start to move the upper body in the shot. Throwing the left arm is going to start generating that stretch across your chest to get the most out of the stretch reflex as you can. Turning the right knee forward is going to start initiating the right hip, the hips working out towards the sector to try and get that chain reaction going into the, into the finish. So throw the left arm, right knee and hip, start rotating, rotating forward and then the shot comes around. Now a lot of people with their left foot, when they throw, want to stay on their toes the whole time and kind of extend up. The more you can stay grounded through the, through the standing throw and keep your left heel down, the more you'll be able to transfer weight over the toe board, out into the sector, and get as much into the throw as you can. So again, that's the left arm opening, the right knee rotating forward, left heel down, right heel up, and then start rotating through the finish. Now, as you start rotating the upper body, at the same time, your weight's gonna shift towards the left leg. So rotating open, shifting towards the left leg, and then finish. When you finish, rotate the right shoulder the entire way around. Some people just want to kind of face the sector as they throw. Make sure it rotates the whole way around so that you're kind of looking down to the left side. Um, the other common mistake that almost everyone does when they first start out taking standing throws is they like to pick their right foot off the ground. Make sure that right knee stays rotating down and forward, and as you're punching the shot out, keep that right foot on the ground. So that's the basic of the standing throw. Again, keep it in the context of the entire throw and the full throw, and that's the goal you want to get to when you take the full throw.